If you look at India compared to the rest of the world, we have less land set aside for wildlife. We have very high human-wildlife conflict. The highest conflict areas are right on the edges of these parks. The most common conflict is with the large mammals, elephants, tigers, leopards, crop loss, property damage, and livestock predation. Our research has shown that 200 to 500,000 potential incidents taking place every year across the country. People over time lose patience. When there are extreme situations, they will retaliate if help doesn't come quickly enough. I had this amazing childhood because my father's a scientist and conservationist. I got to spend hours and hours and hours just watching animals. We assist families in filing claims with the government so that they get compensation for their losses to wildlife. Somebody has an elephant raid their crops or a leopard come and kill a cow. They call a toll-free number, which acts as a conflict response system. We have field staff who go and attend that case and just work as the bridge between communities and the government to get the compensation to them. We've helped almost 14,000 claims being filed. After the first year, we had enough data to look at which families were repeatedly losing livestock. And we started this process to build these more secure livestock sheds. In all of the places where we've built the sheds, there have not been any repeated losses after that. We have to facilitate and create these shared spaces where people don't view animals with hostility and children are excited to see a tiger or elephant and make them realize that they're also very lucky, just like I was. I don't think our planet exists just for people. If you want people living next to wildlife to repeatedly tolerate these losses and not retaliate, we're going to have to help them not just in India, but across the world.